And as we bring in meteorologist Brittany Chompy for that move-in day today, those dorm rooms, no doubt, going to be feeling warm as we get temperatures nearing 90 degrees. Yeah, it's one of those days where you walk in and the first thing you do, open the windows yeah. and get the fan going. <laughs> right. It's hot out there, but at least it's not raining. True. It's nothing worse than and, when it's downpouring. And not as bad humidity as we were seeing, you know, the last couple of days, too. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. We're still in that sticky category. If you think about how we rank things, uh, tomorrow we really start to deal with some more humidity once again. But today, all in all, really not too bad. And again, at least we have that sunshine. Looking out towards Narragansett Beach, a very popular destination. Look how many people are on the sand and in the water right now, just trying to stay cool. Still feels very summer-like out there because, well, it is still summertime. But normally by this point in August, we do start to cool down. Those daytime highs, the normal high for Providence is only about 81 degrees. But today, we're going to fly right past that temperature. We're already up to 87 and we're still expected to warm up a few more degrees during the second half of the day today. Coventry 83 degrees, 86 for Westerly, Narragansett and Newport 86 and 85 respectively. Uh, so still pretty warm out there. Glendale looking at 81. If we check out our threat tracker, yes, it is hot and humid out there, but it's very quiet this afternoon. So we are in the green tomorrow though. Things start to change for your Friday. We are tracking a nice dry start to your day, a pretty pleasant middle half of the day. But then as we head into the late afternoon into the evening, we're going to start to track a couple showers and thunderstorms that move across our area, some of which could be severe. And then for the weekend, once again, staying warm and sunny, but a little bit quieter with the chances for rain kind of dropping off live radar. Beautiful clear skies across our area. No rain or anything like that. It's been a very quiet afternoon. We see a little bit of a slight breeze for a number of locations. The wind really mostly out of the north kind of shifting to the west for the second half of the day today, but still very comfortable out there. Those dew points, like I said, up a little bit back up into that 60 degree range, just feeling a little sticky out there, but at least we're not humid tomorrow, though. We'll be taking a bit of a jump up and we will be feeling a lot more humid out there later this afternoon. We are going to continue to warm up. We'll be back up into the upper 80s and possibly low 90s for a number of locations. You can see Situate, Johnston, West Warwick, 91 degrees. Providence right now 87, but I do expect us to get up to about 89 degrees later today. Pretty close to what Woodsocket is going to be experiencing. Fall River 84, Dartmouth 89 degrees. Again, lots of sunshine out there and pretty quiet. Overnight tonight, a couple of clouds start to roll in, but we are expected to stay dry. We'll only drop down into the upper 60s, partly cloudy out there and a little bit of some patchy fog to start off your day. Now this is what we're tracking as far as we look forward to tomorrow. We're going to be seeing a warm or a strong cold front move across our area and that's going to give us that chance for some thunderstorms and you can see that with the hour by hour forecast overnight tonight starting off nice and clear, but those clouds will really start to ramp up during the overnight hours and then you can see that cold front moving towards our area. The chance for showers and thunderstorms really starting to kick off after about 2 p.m. and then lingering all the way through till about 11 o'clock, almost midnight. Some of these storms could be strong. We do have that slight risk for severe thunderstorms for portions of Massachusetts and Connecticut. Meanwhile, back towards Rhode Island and southeastern Mass, we're only seeing that marginal risk. Seven day forecast, we dry out for the weekend and then next week we continue the warm trend back up into the mid to upper 80s for next week and more chances for some rain as well. You can go over to our website and get that full forecast anytime you like. It's WPRI.com. All right, sounds good, Brittany. Thank you. And when we come back at noon today,